Battle of the Mingbos. So, as I uh, welcome back first to Mortal Archery. So, as long as I still have the Ming Chao Shao from Spearman here, I thought I'd do another comparison because from the same house from Cinnabar Bow, you can get, of course, the uh, Ming Moon from Marina. And I thought, let's do a quick comparison of these two bows. I don't have the short ming moon i have the ming moon six which is a little it's three inches longer than the chao shao but at least to show differences or similarities there would be uh, the ming moon i forgot the number which has the same draw length 31 inches to the belly like the chao shao but it's still four centimeters longer than the chao shao so in f value the the Chao Chao will always win, so we don't. It's you know, it's a bit more a, a friendly comparison than a battle. What do we have? Two pretty bows. Let's see the shape unstrung, and you see that the curves of the Chao Chao are a little more aggressive, and really 90 degrees at the end with the sears, and the Ming Moon is a little not so bent. This is one thing. So then details. The overall size of the sears, they are way more narrow from Mariner than they are from Spearman. As you maybe can see here, there's way less beef here than here. And even the beginning there, after the head, when you come into the Kassan, it's way more thin with the mariner than it is here way more thick than uh, in in the chow chow from spearman both have reinforced knocks the reinforcement of the chow chow is quite rounded here so i think this is a bit more forgiving for the string very narrow here so the string has a very narrow contact point the rest, they look quite the same. We have here the slight small reinforcement on the bow. We have Bear Pro glass on the um, Mariner. I don't know the glass on the Spearman. Then the limbs look both nice. Of course, you can have them in different colors with Mariner. What you can see maybe is that the Mariner is a little more shiny than the Spearman. So this is a a personal matter of taste. I like it a little more. This is more silky smooth, but it's a set matter of taste. Stringing both of them. String easy. You have a string pad here, string pad down there. Make sure that it's in a string pad. No problem with the chow chow. Ming Moon. We don't have string pads on the Ming Moon. Stringing the Ming Moon is easy as pie. You only make sure that the loop lines up along the sear and down along the sear and then you can get out of it. Check if it's straight. If not, make it straight. Straight. And we check this one if it's straight. 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 So let's talk about first the wiggle test. Ciao, ciao. As said, it's a medium wiggle in this direction and quite sturdy in this direction. Medium wiggle, at least it wiggles a little more. And this direction, even a little more. So the Shao Shao is a little more sturdy in wiggling than the Ming Moon. So now let's see both strung, both pretty premium high-end bows, so you can't say anything. Let's check how they look when you compare them like this. So. You can see that the Ming Moon has a little more flex in the handle, so the limb goes a little more forward first, and then it goes a little steeper back, as you see in the angle, and then at the end, see your angle is almost the same. So the more steep angle here is compensated with the less flex here. Here we have more flex in the handle, less angle here, but at the end, they, they come up in the same almost in the same angle. So the sears overall. Uh, the only difference is really the sear length here a little bit. That's why the Ming Moon is longer. So limbs width on the widest part is very similar. And as mentioned before, overall Kassan head is a little, 
as I know, you know, the, the, the sear is more thin, more f f delicate than with the Chao Chao. That's why this is a little more wiggly. Handle, arrow pass first. Arrow pass is a little more narrow with a mariner, but you have this sweet leather on it. And when you see after many shots, it doesn't look very good anymore. Aero Pass on the Chao Shao is Rayskin and I'm really a fan of this Rayskin. It's so forgiving. We shot now several arrows and you barely see a scratching on the skin. You only see a scratching on the handle right because sometimes the arrow was a little low. What you have here to cover up the transition parts here where you see this uh, extra layers coming here on the Mariner. Chao Shao covers them with this nice whipping which looks in my opinion very good but this is has nothing to do with performance it's simply something for the optics then the handle wrap i always was the biggest fan of this handle wrap i love this handle wrap of mariner this is for me one of the best gives me the most comfortable grip but the handle shape is a little more oval a little thicker on the back and not that narrow in the front so it's but eesh, perfect and this one with suede leather and the stitching, nice too. But the shape here is a little more for my hand. But I still, I'm still a Mariner fanboy. This one is still, you feel, ah, yeah. Brace height, look at this, it's really, really similar. So it's really not a competition today. It's simply showing maybe slight differences. Of course, I did the knock to knock. Ming Moon is 50, uh, Ming Moon is 57.5. Of course, it would be the shorter version, but this one does 32 inch max jaw to the belly. This one is 54.5, as all my patrons know. <laughs> uh, and, but it does 31 inch to the belly. So we come up with an F value of Mariner 0 0.57, 0 0.59 0 .59 for the Spearman. Both are, have an arrow minimum mass of nine grain per pound, which I like. This is Cinebubble always recommends you the minimum arrow weight. Price-wise, Mariner is, for, Mariner, this is Mariner, $420 up to 45 pounds. Spearman is $411 up to 45 pounds. You can have the Mariner up to 60 pounds for 440 and up to 70 pounds for 475. I don't know if there's any higher poundage with the Spearman, there's nothing written. So we go most probably max 45 pounds, 411 to 420, so nine buck difference. So it's not a big deal that you should think about considering this or that. Both are awesome. So what we have here, they are not completely the same draw weight. The Mariner has 45 pounds at 32 inches. And this one has 33 pounds at 28, which will give you 50 pounds at 31 inches. So this one is five pounds more than this. So one of the main differences, string pad on the Chao Chao and no string pad on the Mariner. We have a small knocking point out of twine on the Mariner, which I like. We have the longer center serving on the Chao Chao, the draw experience. So 32 to the belly mariner nice 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 now you feel it a little and see now i'm at 32 and there's still no stacking this is insane 31 inches to the belly nice 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 and now you feel it 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 it's not stacking, but the draw curve goes way up. So draw experience, still my favorite is the, the Ming Moon. I once thought I sell it, you know, because I have so many bows and I put it on, 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 the, on the sales rack. And then one day I shot it against, I <laughs> can't sell it. So this is one, it's a keeper for me at least right now. Uh, draw experience for me, <sighs> Marina. It feels still, for me, a little nicer. So the draw curve of the Mariner goes a little more gentle at the end, whereas the draw curve of the Chao Chao at the end, it's really, you feel it after 31 inches, there is not more room. It's not really stacking, but you feel it. Let's shoot them. Chao Chao. 
I prepared an arrow which is 300, 470 grain. So I don't have a 450 grain now. And now let's see. Pretty, pretty bow. Shoots nice, but as I said in the review, there is a slight vibration and with 9 grain you feel it already a little. If you would shoot 10 or 11 grain, completely a no-brainer. And I have a 405 grain arrow for the arena. We have a knocking point. We have a little, a little vibration, but it's... Hmm? compared to you can even most probably hear it and you really feel it in the handle right here stops earlier and it's not that vibrating in the handle so ciao ciao again without katra i hold the bone now steady to see the hand shock with nine grain a bit, but it's... forget it. I think I broke my first arrow. So both are extremely accurate and forgiving. So this one, complete nice control. Ciao, ciao. Same. A little shorter. Both amazing. I can't tell. For me personally, that's why I took the Ming Moon 6. I like to have this 32 to the belly, so I have a little more room to play with the draw length, and there is completely no stacking. Katra follow through everything, easy, no problem. And draw experience, still Mariner takes a slight edge for me. But the Chao Chao is a little more speedy, I guess. You feel it, it feels a little more, I don't know. If I have to choose, I think I would go with the Mariner. Ciao, ciao. I got as close as possible to 9 grain per pound. So we shoot with the minimum allowed. You know what I mean. Recommended. 192. And 9 grain per pound for the Mariner. Hundred ninety one. <laughs> we do that again. I told you. Hundred ninety one. Hundred eighty eight. I personally would still recommend at least ten grain per pound for the chow shot. My feather is missing. Doesn't matter then the arrow flies faster now. 187 and the Ming Moon 184. Both are capable to, to, to do 190 foot per second with the minimum arrow weight. So even there, not, not a competition. I would go at least with 10 grain, then maybe you compensate. It feels a little slower than the, the Chao Chao. So, but same. So we can wrap it up. A Ming Dynasty bow from Mariner or a Ming Dynasty bow from Spearman. Both awesome. Mostly differences are in the optics, not that much in the design. Quality wise, as I said, I don't know which glass Spearman is using for the price. I would assume that it's spare power, power glass like on Mariner, but I don't know. That's why but durability i never heard anything negative so for me they are really kind of the same they look the same handle of both is insane i still like the handle wrap of mariner i don't like the suede leather here it looks a little you know it, it tears out here you you see it and then it doesn't look that nice anymore this ray skin is really more durable so i really would recommend that every bow builder uses something sturdy like this ray skin has less friction for the arrow here because the arrow only lays on the, on the top part of the skin. So there is not a lot of friction even when you don't shoot katra or stuff like this. You don't scratch your bow. When you shoot katra, of course, it's no problem. But then you don't need an arrow pass at all. So 
you get a knocking point with Mariner, which is nice. In ancient times, they mostly had a knocking point. Uh, difference in shooting, they are both awesome. So there's nothing. I only, after 31 inches, here you feel really the draw curve going up. And with the Mariner, after 32 inches, even not. So this is for me, draw experience is a little nicer. And then the other thing which I would give the edge to the Mariner bow is nine gram per pound feels really good for this bow. Feels like it could handle eight or even less. So there's not that it feels like dry firing or a lot of vibration or hand shock. With the Chow Chow, you feel it with nine grain already, it's the limit, so don't go any lower. Of course, overall, you should not go lower than nine grain per pound because laminated bows over the time, it's simply maybe too much for them to handle. But at least the Mariner feels like it could handle it better than the Spearman. But these are the only two things which I could say speed-wise they are the same, design-wise they look very similar. This one is a little more silky, this is one is more shiny, and for the rest it's really personal preference, and nine bucks difference is, is not the world. I don't know if you get this one, the, the Chow Chow, in more than 45 pounds, there's nothing written on the website. This one you can have up to 70 pounds, which might be of interest for some who draw heavier bows. But then of course it's 475. But still, 70 pound bow in this quality. So if I had to choose, I don't know. Luckily I don't have to choose. I already have this one and this one is not mine. I have to give it away. So we have already a lucky new owner. Uh, on Monday I will ship it to Slovakia, I guess. Yes. That's all for today. I really can't say. Draw experience a little more on this side. This one is a little, feels a little more snappy, but overall it's then not faster. That's all I have to say. So it was not, it's, it's more a friendly comparison that you might have slightly an idea of which one you would consider having. That's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.